There's Wally having himself a little snack. <clears throat> he um he's pouting a little bit because well, I got them roast chicken tonight to go with their dinner. They had a little plate of roast chicken. Edward ref or Wally refused to eat his though. Edward ended up eating it because Sir Walter over here who who doesn't eat out of the bowl, he scoops his crunchies onto the floor and eats them that way. Because, you know, standing up to eat is hard. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> he wanted salmon or <clears throat> tuna, you know, the most expensive thing, you know, on the, on the menu at, at the meat counter because he thinks that he should have, you know, only fishy stuff. And there's little Eddie. Eddie got all his chimkin because Walter pouted and refused to eat it. Walter, I think you need to get a job. Because you just, you know, you don't appreciate. No many cats don't get fresh roast chicken bought for them. Hmm? I get you fresh roast chicken and you don't even appreciate it. You're just going to sit there and be sassy and crunch your kibbles with attitude because <laughs> you didn't want Chimkin. It wasn't good enough. <clears throat> you are something else, let me tell you. <sighs> oh, my wadi. You're something else. I constantly have to sweep this floor because he gets crunchies everywhere because he just refuses to, you know, he, he scoops them out of his bowl by the handful and he just flings them across the floor. <laughs> and there's nothing like stepping on him in the middle of the night. But Walter doesn't care. It's Wally's world. We're just living in it. Right, Wally? Hmm? Silly boy. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to eating your kibbles.